welcome to the scientific investor family where we discuss crypto and science behind investing now when you look at this news it's really cool because elites or the financial elites of this world are actually looking at digital currencies and that's something really important from this point onwards and as i showed you many different assets are pumping so i posted this on jan 23rd and this is jan 25th but most of them took their targets our writers were taking their profits as we were reaching those highs and then this one for uni i posted this first saying these are old target this is the new target and then this just happened we hit our new target so if you are writing an asset and you don't know what your targets are it's going to be really difficult now yes there are situations when you target say 260 and the price goes parabolic hits to 90 but always understand extension in the market can happen but you should not be missing the actual point you are there based on the fundamental and the technical so you take out your profit stay liquid control your emotion once an asset pumps like 30 50 percentage it may still pump a little bit but do understand once it pumps like crazy you should be looking at another asset which has same dry powder because when it pumps it's also going to do the same and you don't want to miss out on majority of those if you are interested if you are a long term holder in couple of currencies it's cool you can hold on to it if you have that patience because not everyone has that patience they are jumping you know the monkey jumping from one to another and they are missing opportunities why because the patience factor and the technical factor is not being digested well now let's actually look at what really is happening in the market bitcoin dominance is falling I highlighted this from last couple of weeks saying this is happening if you want to concentrate do focus here because by November when XRP was pumping you can see this Bitcoin dominance was going down then on November we see XRP pumping now you see it's coming back down and the next wave of altcoin should be starting to take off as i just showed you we are getting 30 pumps 30 percentage 40 percentage pump in different assets in a daily basis that's huge even if you are getting that on a weekly basis that still profits right but on a daily basis that makes it crazy now this week if you see here it's still 58.35 and then it went all the way back and closed now you come here look at the altcoins it went all the way up till here but came back and closed there and it went back reached that support it's playing its pattern now if btc dominance is dropping all the way back towards 58.35 that means alls has a room to run till here or above that and alls are still way lower than now if you are looking at that that would be like 30 50 percentage bump which we await in the entire altcoin market cap so last time when the entire altcoin market cap moved like 70 percentage xrp went 220 230 percentage so next time when it does don't miss out on that one this is xrp usd on a daily and we are still holding that support i know it's testing that ultimate patience but if you don't have that it's going to be difficult we may wick down a couple more time testing your patience your discipline and then you'll jump out market will go up this is xrp btc pair on a daily and this is what you can see we are expecting a 50 percentage move to the upside we are still there we are not moving much the volume is low whenever the volume goes low do understand when the volume come back live the market is going to be volatile it can be to the upside or to the downside i'm plotting this 50 percent to the upside because the pattern is like that but if it breaks to the downside that means you would be retesting the recent bottom again now this is ether btc why am i showing you this when altcoin market cap is moving upside ether xrp and other big cap all should be moving now in terms of ether 
when it is used in terms of ether btc you can see that we are at a resistance range on a horizontal level if you look at this green dotted line this is the current price level and you can see it was previous resistance and support right this was a support this is a resistance resistance so it should be acting as a resistance even if it doesn't and the price breaks that level it should be moving towards this resistance trend line now even it does correct from there it's still bullish because look at the bottoms can see that rising pattern there so that rising trend line in the bottom would be even bullish but if you are looking at the same on a usd terms you would understand the profit margin is less when you compare it with many other assets now this is up usd on a monthly and the rounded bottom pattern on a monthly gives you that validation that when the MACD is all already crossing to the upside and it's slowly moving towards the positive territory in the MACD lines, that's bullish. Now, we need the momentum which we lack as of now. On a monthly candle, we pumped on November, but December pushed us even down. Why? Because we were expecting a story of bull run and we got a story of crash from SEC and most of them panic sold. But right now, based on what you see in the news, it's kind of clear, you know, we are not looking at whether XRP is a security or not. It's just the way Ripple, the company distributed the asset. Now, if it's your asset, you would be doing that how you want to do, right? Now, if you maneuver around XRP USD in different time frames, say this is 4 hour XRP USD, you have a pattern here. Now, if the pattern breaks the bottom, that means we are going all the way towards 0 0.1675 or 0.17, which would be our bottom. Now, that depends on different exchanges. So, you see uh, Aave here around 280, which pumped around 290 here. In Coinbase, it was like 350, 380. Last time XRP pumped around 0.78 in coinbase it was 0.72 so some exchanges will have that premium because you know their traders are mostly interested in this particular asset but once the entire market starts shifting and moving to the upside then this change will not impact much now you zoom in to that same chart using a 12 hour chart and then you move in here, look at the MACD, it's trending to the downside, but it's looking like a flag pattern in MACD after that wave up. Now, if you are looking this properly, what you can still see is on the RSI, it's kind of a head and shoulder pattern forming and the head or the neckline for that would be here. If you take this line and drop it here, it should reach this level, which is 62. And when it breaks above that, we should see a lot of momentum entering into XRP USD pay. On the fundamental side of this, when SEC puts this one out, showing it's never a good idea to invest in something just because someone famous says it's good investment. Now for me, as of now, when I look at the market, especially crypto market, there's a lot of guys saying, okay, this asset is going sky high buy this now or miss it it's okay it's cool if you want to buy that it's up to you but usually what we do is buy the bottom not the top so whenever you see stuff like this you also have to think on both sides one is that you know, guys are highlighting buy bitcoin two there is a macro economic situation playing out you do have to understand both when BTC is making its trend pattern, long term it's still looking bullish from where it is right now. Say it can go back towards 42 to 45 or 60, but short term it's still playing out its pattern, which is a head and shoulder pattern which we broke to the downside. Here it's showing that China overtakes US as world's leading destination for foreign direct investments. So the money flow is moving out of US, we can say that as of now due to the political scenario which exists there and then it's moving towards China. So more and more money is moving into China even though it is an authoritarian state, 
if it's getting more and more value in money that means the major economies are doing something wrong it's not just china is doing everything right others are doing it wrong so you look at the us you will understand what they have right now and what they are looking forward for they're not even trying to compete with this right and when i say people show you buy bitcoin because it's going to a million dollar or half a million dollar i also consider this thing dictator highlights this one lionel shows this one new sec chairman explaining bitcoin and ether are centralized why because you know those statistics like uh, 50 percentage or 65 percentage chinese minus if he understands that well that means he do understand that that's not a commodity it can also classify it as a security in that case but remember this is a uh, blockchain technology this is open source technology so no one can actually directly put that into your head but that's the fact you can't actually miss that one and when the big show time is coming you do have to understand utility is key in that when these nations are getting together to discuss about digital currencies it's not only about cryptocurrencies it's mainly about central bank digital currencies now how these central bank digital currencies will work that's a financial infrastructure how these will inter communicate they need a interoperable asset which can do that and i'm not saying it only will be xrp because we have different nations coming out with cbdc's at least 40 to 50 of them can do this as per previous news which we heard from imf yes it's only 40 to 50 countries who can release that cbdc now look back you'll understand ripple the company is dealing with 40 to 50 central banks not 200 central banks in the world right there would be a reason for all of this now yes we don't have that crystal ball so we don't understand it but whenever you go through these kind of news you can definitely try to think what happened in the past what's happening as of now and what you can speculate right so in this december speech bailey said that privately issued stable coins needed to be regulated uh, on a global scale while asserting that cryptocurrencies of the likes of bitcoin were unsuitable for payments keep that in mind the value can fluctuate quite wildly unsurprisingly they strike me as unsuited to the world of payments so the utility is really huge when we think of these stuff which is going to rebalance the financial world based on the cross-border payments industry it's also going to give you that insights if you're already in an asset which has that utility and which is down compared to others look at xrp it's still in red when you know uh, all of others are going to the upside if you want to understand that go to a macro view and look at it xrp here is 15 percent down on a month and it's only 20 percent up this year that's not a bad deal when you look at its entire use case and how stuff is moving for me this is a huge buy as we are still holding our trend line support here in xrp after this sec news think we were moving in this pattern we pumped so this was our base before sec news came out so we were on a bullish target and then sec came out they dropped the news that bomb blasted and we came back even though we went below that eventually we managed to come back make this as a support so as of now on a daily you can see yes we do have moving average acting as resistance but this strong support is still holding so as long as this is holding you can consider buying and if you need confirmation what you can actually do is you can actually wait for the price to react on a macro scale that means you will just zoom out then you will look at it okay not on a monthly line what you'll do is you can actually put a medium term target of buy, where to buy this asset again so if you're actually connecting this bottoms correctly you would actually end up something similar to this so 
you can align your lines clearly so you get to connect all of the bottom as much as possible and then you see this as a pattern just the time frame taken to complete this pattern is increasing so if this pattern is to break to the upside again you, you can use the measure tool and it would give you around 180 percentage yeah 250 uh, percentage to the upside right so for that you can wait till here either that's 0.5 or this one so the first breakout should be till here which is 130 percentage and the second one 250 so if you're considering a uh, risk covers characteristics in your portfolio and you don't want to add on more it's completely cool you just have to wait because if you plot that line here the price is still respecting that it was respecting these levels it went below that it came back it was acting again as a resistance go going back down now if it breaks above the next target should be 0.78 and then the break of 0.5 shows you that it's going to move all the way towards 1.5 and when we say these numbers, if you want to see that in your portfolio, you need to understand what you should do. And you should not only understand that, you should also execute those well in your portfolio so that you get to make that profit, not just talk about it, right? If you would like to get that support for these, you can look at the Patreon. The link is given in the description. Now, remember, if you are entering, I would suggest you enter in the basic tiers for next five days and first of the month you can move into a higher tier that would give you additional value and also won't take uh, money your money out for five days and you won't be charged for 30 days right that's going to be one of the best decisions you are going to take now i definitely believe you guys received value for your time and if you did please do support the channel hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.